Here's another sol uh, solution to a practice problem. According to Gallup, about 62% of Americans polled said that they own stock. Suppose you are taking a random sample of 200 adults. What is the probability that less than 57% of them will say they own stock? So it kind of seems like a very complicated probability question. Um, sometimes when that happens, I start to think about maybe there's a two-sidedness to this, which um, is sort of the success and failure. And I see that um, we do have that. People either own a stock or do not. So our success, if I read the probability question, um, it seems that they're going to own stock. That's what the probability is interested in. So that's what I'll call this. Okay. Um, I see a lot of information is given. I'm going to read over it again and, and see if I can organize it. Um, I'm told by Gallup that 62% of people own stock in the U.S. Or, or Americans own stock. So that's going to be my population proportion, 0 0.62. You can also think of that as a probability of a success. Um, we're taking a random sample of 200. That's N. And we want to know the probability that less than 57% of them will say they own stock. So that 57% is attached to the sample. So I'm going to call it P hat for my sample proportion. And um, and there we have it. So those are the information that's the information that's directly given to us in the problem. There's a few more things I need to sort out. I need to figure out what Q is. Q is equal to 1 minus P. So that's their complements of one another. So 1 minus 0 0.62 is 0 0.38. Now, you may be able to do the 62-38 split in your head. They both combine to give us 100% if we speak about them as percents. 0.62 and 0.38 combined to give us one if we want to talk about them as their like probability. All right, so we've got that. And um, also to complete this probability question, I need to find the standard deviation of the sampling distribution of proportions. And that formula looks like this. P times Q over N. This is a hand calculation you're going to have to do. When I say hand calculation, I mean, we're going to use software to do it, but um, like just a, an old fashioned calculator. So I'm just filling in P and Q and putting it over 200. So now this is probably not going to come out to a terminating decimal. I need to figure out what that is. And that's not something I can compute, you know, in my head or or want to at least. So I'm going to borrow uh, a neat little piece of our guru, which is an embedded calculator called Desmos. So let's head over to our guru right now. We can figure out what our standard deviation will be. All right, here we are. So I'm going to click on applets slash uh, dash calculators. And um, if you click on this, I think I might have clicked on it earlier. It'll open up these choices. I'm going to choose scientific calculator. That's all I really need to get this accomplished. I'm going to zoom in a bit. There we are. So I need to figure that kind of com complex comp computation. Um, so I'm going to grab the square root first. That was on the outside. And then I'm going to grab A over B, which is going to give me the fraction form. And from there, I can simply just type in 0.62 times 0 0.38, so that's my numerator, and throw it over 200. And I don't even have to hit enter or anything because if I look over to the right, it did the calculation for me. So again, you don't have to worry about order of operations. If you can type it the way you write it, um, it'll do it. So if I look there, after, let's go out to four decimal places, or let's say three decimal places, 0 0.03. Four. Okay. So remembering that, um, if I go back here, 0 
for. So I've got everything I need to go to our guru um, to find this probability. So we're going to close up the calculator. Don't need it anymore. We're going to go to probability simulation, where we've been for finding all these neat probability calculators. Um, oops, click the wrong one. Try that again. Probability, probability calculator, and continuous. We're going to use the normal model to finish this problem out, as you've seen in the lessons. And we just need to fill it out with what it needs. We're going to leave it on values to probability. Um, it's the default setting is normal. We're going to put the population proportion here. That is what goes in the middle. The standard deviation we just calculated. There we have it. And our probability was below or less than 0.57. So the thing they're asking about for the probability, that sort of value, um, <clears throat> is the value that goes here after whether you put below, above, and et cetera. Um, so that's where p hat goes in this problem, our sample proportion. So all we have left to do is to click here. And we get our answer, 0 0.070, et cetera. Um, I think rounded out, it'd be 0 0.0707. <clears throat> um, just pay attention to how um, you're asked to round for these problems as you're working them in the system. And that's our answer. If we want to take a quick peek at it, we can see that. Just click graph here, hit preview again. And we can see that it is a normal model centered at what I assume is 0.62 here, and we're finding the probability to the left of 0.57. So that small probability we found corresponds to the small area to, in yellow to the left of 0.57. Hope this was helpful.